Baby, huh? Hmm, that's a cute nickname for me. What was it yesterday? Adonis, Casanova, winner of all the sexy times. Hmm? Oh, you want me to lean down so you can tell me off all soft? Of course. Anything for you, dearest love. Hey, is that guy staring daggers at me right now bothering you? Do you know him? All right, don't worry, sweetheart. I got you. You need a ride home or someone to walk with you? Walked here. Sure, me too. All right, go on. Take my arm. There you go. Come on. You doing okay, sweetheart? Nah, I wouldn't be surprised if you weren't. Situations like that are terrifying. You did the right thing, though. Running to someone else or the bartender to throw them off is a good, solid tactic. I've taught it for years. What do I do for a living? <laughs> You're not going to believe it. I see you eyeing up my leather pants and big old biker boots, and is that a bit of intrigue at my unkept shaggy mane? Or is it because I fucked up my eyeliner a little? If so, feel free to laugh. <laughs> fine, fine. I'm a safety instructor. I teach self-defense techniques and just generally try to confuse old folks. How, you may ask? By dressing as goth as possible and then doing things like coaching soccer, refurbishing houses, and the best one, making the best summer cookout brisket. Oh, yeah, my profession is why I realized what you needed so quickly. Ah, no need to be that grateful, sweetheart. I'm getting to pretend to be your boyfriend for however long this walk lasts. Oh, you think I'm smooth, huh? Well, I suppose statistically at least one person has to. So, how's about you? What do you occupy your days with? Oh, someone likes challenging work too, eh? <laughs> No, I, I respect it. There's something about having to fight a little bit every day, right? I try not to admit that sometimes I sort of hope some of these people will pick a fight with me so I can play the hero. Just a little kind of pathetic, huh? Nah, I don't really care about how I look. I just want to remind them that they can, in fact, be laid out if they want to fuck around and find out. Once had a lady that was, for lack of a more polite term, batshit insane. She wanted to get at her ex-boyfriend more than a swarm of locusts wants to get at some tasty corn stalks. I mean, she was swinging a nail file. Stabbed me right in the fucking hip. Oh, it definitely hurt. Totally worth it, though. Towering over her and looking unimpressed apparently knocked some sense into her. Never want to punch a lady. Or anyone, really but I had to crack my knuckles into a little bit of mean mugging. Ma'am, you need to leave this donut chain and get psychiatric help, basically. Don't know if she got that help. Sure hope so. That poor man was terrified. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I'm probably going to just straight up get shot one of these days. Or stabbed in the kidney. A lot of people out there decide that anyone in their way is just coffin fodder. Still, I don't think I could walk away. Being in a crisis like that, you need somebody willing to step in. Otherwise, it's too easy to panic and give them control. People like that... Yeah. So, how long was that guy following you? Ugh, gross. You should probably file a police report. Assholes tend to not take stalking seriously, but at least you'd have it on file. Should put up some security cameras as well, if you can spring for them. Or I could sleep over. True. <laughs> You're a bold one, you know that? I don't get a lot of ladies brave enough to just flirt with me. Or guys. Hell, sometimes the guys are a thousand times more nervous. Uh, have a soft spot for the big protective sword, huh? Hell, why not? Hi, I'm Miguel. Nice to meet you. So... You want a summer wedding or a fall one? Oh, please, you are so autumn wedding sort. 
but whatever wifey wants, wifey shall receive. Sure, we can get a dog, so long as it's from a shelter and not a puppy mill. And a cat companion, of course. Where do you want a honeymoon? Ah, good choice. You have great taste, my insanely hot fiancé. Hey, can I wear a steampunk tuxedo? Hell yeah, you can wear a funeral dress, mini taco bar. Oh yeah, from Miguel's, obviously. So, what's our special song? That's... that's my favorite song. I, I mean, sure, it's a coincidence. It's a really popular song from a band with eight followers on social media and who played in local bars. Before you ask, no, I'm not also stalking you. And I'm pretty sure you're not stalking me. Can you imagine? It'd be like that Spider-Man pointing meme. <laughs> oh, no. And you're a meme lord, too? Jeez, oh, did we just become soulmates or some nonsense? Hey, I already proposed. What, do you just want to ask me out? Yes. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm game. You're a little spitfire, huh? That guy got lucky that you were on the smarter, less violent side. I bet you could have laid his ass out, eh? He had a knife? Okay. Yeah. I'll hang out tonight. If you feel safe having some buff stranger in your house, anyway. Damn! You mind less because I'm hot? You mean to tell me that you would have let that guy shiv you if he were hotter? <laughs> Goodness, you are a wild one. Do me a favor, though, okay? Make sure you let some friends or family know I'm here. Take a picture of me if you feel it'd help. I want to make sure people know I'm here and I'm not going to do anything to hurt you. That, and I'll act as a witness when you file the report, alright? Hey, I am, if anything, not a creep. Oh, this your building? Alright, come on. Huh? Oh, no, this place is only moderately run down. Very nice, my friend. Nice place. Oh, is that a black void staring at me or a particularly fat black cat? Hey, buddy. Hey, pretty thing. Pss, 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 pss. Meow. Oh, he's a grumpy biter, huh? Seems friendly to me. Oh, don't take it personally. I volunteer with animals sometimes, and I think I have an aura around me that draws them in. Isn't that right, buddy? Yes, give me that muffin head. Ooh, you're a little muffin head, you do. Yes, you do, you do. <laughs> <laughs> All cats have a little bit of asshole to their personality, don't they? Right, uh, it's one in the morning. I'll hang out on the couch, and then go down with you to the station to file a report. You got a spare blanket? Thank you, my new friend. I'll try not to snore too loudly. Do you think it's weird that we're acting this close after just meeting? Uh, nah, not really. I don't know why, but I feel comfortable around you. Same, huh? Well, good. Go get some rest, Spitfire. I'll see you in the, um, later morning. <laughs>